Good day everyone, this is Mam Bell and I will be your teacher in Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Week 5. We are still on multiplication of decimals and problem solving. And our topic for today is about multiplication of decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. So today we will be learning how to multiply decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. Okay, so let's start. Now let's consider some special kind of products. Study each set of examples and then observe the pattern. In our first example, we multiply 10 by 8 tenths, 10 by 2 and 5 tenths, 10 by 17 and 3 tenths, 10 by 26 hundredths, 10 by 4 and 28 hundredths. So what is the multiplier in our example? When we say multiplier, it is a number we multiply by. So compare the multiplicand and the product. The number to be multiplied is called the multiplicand, and the answer of the multiplication problem is called the product. So again, what is the multiplier in our example? Very good, it is 10. So compare the multiplicand and the product. You're correct. The digits in the multiplicand remains the same as in the product, but the value of the place changed. It is simply because when we multiply a decimal by 10, we just move the decimal point to one place to the right. In our example number 2, we use 100 as our multiplier. And we multiply 100 by 8 tenths, 100 by 2 and 5 tenths, 100 by 17 and 3 tenths, 100 by 26 hundredths, and 100 by 4 and 28 hundredths. Now, look at the product of our example number 2. Does it change? Why do you think 0 is added to the product? It is because when we need to move the decimal point, the decimal places are not enough. So in this case, we use zeros as a placeholder like in the first three items in our example. Thus, to multiply a decimal by 100, just move the decimal point two places to the right. Use zero as a placeholder if necessary. So now let's take a look at example number three. We multiply 1000 by 8 tenths. 1,000 by 2 and 5 tenths, 1,000 by 17 and 3 tenths, 1,000 by 26 hundredths, and 1,000 by 4 and 28 hundredths. So just like in example number 2, we added 0 to our product. So why did we add zeros to our product? It's because there are no enough decimal places, so we need to annex 0 to complete the digit. Therefore, when we multiply a decimal by 1000, we just move the decimal point three places to the right. Now, do you know already how to multiply a decimal by 10, 100, and 1000? To multiply decimals by 10, 100, and 1000, we just count the number of zeros in the multiplier. Then move the decimal point to the right according to the number of zeros in the multiplier and then annex zero to complete the digit if necessary. Now I'm going to give you some exercises for you to practice, okay? Can you answer this one mentally? What you are going to do is just place the decimal point in the correct place to make the equation true. Here's another one, you are going to answer the equation mentally. So that's all for today children, I hope you enjoy the activity. Okay, 
So, see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.